Alright guys, I did this entire chapter and uh well one it didn't go well and two it didn't uh didn't record for me. Hopefully it's recording this time and hopefully I can get through it faster now that I've done it previously. Hoping for a half hour at most to forty five minutes. Just depends. Uh this is the hideaway DLC two. DLC 2 of Little Nightmares. And the last time, the last time I played this chapter, I had a glitch where I was trying to throw a gnome on a ladder and just was it I was lost for like 10 minutes cuz I was didn't understand why it wasn't working, but Should be able to run through it pretty easily this time. through here pretty much get all these gnomes to pop out and run around they're all gonna make a run for this door over here there's one over here He's gonna get stuck. We'll just pull him out. Give him a little hug. Throw him up at this uh, doorknob. Come through here, use him again. Toss him over. Again, get about right here. Toss him up on that lever. He'll make it. He'll make it through the door. Get this part. Come on this side. Get, he'll help you push. Should help you push this out the out of the way. Now you gotta get that one out of the cage, so the other one will be hiding right here. Pull him out. Now you wanna take both of them and throw them up on this table. Give that one a hug. I think that's what recognizes you uh, collecting them. They'll push this box off the table. Free this guy. Give him a little hug. And we'll drop down. Need all of them, so a lot of times you gotta round them up. Try 
try to kind of stay close to them so they all follow you. And this part you don't need to worry about just yet. So don't worry about that lever or that, that ladder. You're always going to have some stragglers, so try to stay close to them. This guy's giving your attention to uh, this lever. Jump up here, pull this lever down. They'll start picking up coal and throwing it in there. So that's four of them. This door should start up, should open eventually. Over here to the right. Right through here. And I think the. Got one up here. This one. Him a hug. And we will take these two back there as well. I don't know if you necessarily have to just yet, but I, I just like to get them out here and make sure they're actually. They're supposed to. Sometimes I'll grab them and get them to come over here. All right, let's so come back. Now you got six of them. Climb up this ladder through here. You'll want to pull this lever. These are going to break. This one's still good. It's got a light, so put it back in. This one's bad, so you, this is where you continue. Now this, the uh, stretchy arms guy is going to be, be here, so you got to carefully sneak around him. Light off them. Probably best to even keep sneaking even past this point so he doesn't catch a scent of you. I think when you start running, it, yep, when you hear him sniff. He's gonna be grabbing around, re trying to find you. So give him a little time and don't get caught by his hands. Blind, but he can smell you. So I think at this point you're all right. Come into 
here. Open up this door. And this one. I don't think you need to open the second one, but last time I couldn't get it open. I'm not going to waste too much time with that. Get this chair. catch this light so this can be kind of kind of difficult I had trouble with this last time got to get a good running start and jump at the very end of that corner this little hole up oh. I hope I don't have to climb the chair again and jump to the light but we'll see come down and you don't want to be even you kind you kind of want to be a little bit above this ledge jump backwards catch on to that through here and there's your light that you need to pull this one open and this one one back a little bit jump up and grab this down toss it at this button now this is where I messed up a lot run straight to the, this angle and come behind these steps so he can't get you. I messed up a bunch of times. Didn't realize that little back opening was there. Keep running. Yep, he still got me. That's the method you want, though. You're going to want to go behind them steps. I really don't want to do this ten times in a row again. I'm trying to save time on this one. Hopefully I'm even recording. At least our light's on the floor. I messed up. I dropped it. I hate this part. Probably the, one of the most parts I hate of this chapter. I swear the game just like gives it to him sometimes. Like you don't even have a choice. And like I try to run with him but sometimes he seems to just slow down. Uh -huh. 
probably really yep he's gonna get me this stuff that makes your videos turn into what should be a half hour to like 45 minutes I mean it's hard for me to gauge where I need to be sneaky at compared to you know, once you hear him sniff he's gonna start coming after you should be. Just missed him. Alright, keep going. Don't stop. Dude. Once I get past this part, it should be smooth sailing, I'd hope. I just done this chapter like two times in a row, so I'm kind of burnt a little bit. Sorry. Just like he's not running the weight. I want him to. <coughs> same shit happened last time and it wasn't anything that I did different I just got lucky there's probably a specific method to do that to do this I'm hoping that this will be the last time I really don't think crouching I mean, people say, oh, if you crouch, but he still smells me, you know what I mean? Like, I still... I think it's just part of the game, just wants to mess with you, really. Gotta keep going, though. Gotta keep trying. like if I wrapped around that corner he didn't do his little sniff part and chase me there might be a method to the madness I'm messing up I know I am so maybe sneak and just stay to your corners Okay, so there's the way to do it. Anyways, you put the light in here. Jump in this elevator. Got three of your three of your buddies waiting for you. You're gonna need to move this box. door 
get it ready. Pull this open. There's two more of them. You're gonna have to chase them and hug them. Gotta play this game with them. This will be a part that kind of ticks you off over after a while too. Is babysitting these little guys. So there's one. The other one should be... Yeah, right here. Give him a hug too. on these things. I don't know if uh, if you just have to like drop down or probably get some help from the gnomes and push this all the way over to the bottom maybe right there. Hopefully it doesn't move all the way back on me. That should be about right. Hoping it would move me closer, but yep, not close enough. Gonna have to push it further. All right, all the way over there. Back to the blue bin. So you need all three of these guys to get on that hook, hook to uh, open the door for you. This guy. I'll just bring him down with me. By this hook, this lever. box underneath the door. Doesn't have to be too much. Come through. All three of your buddies should start coming through. Come on, man. Got places to go. up in there with them. I'm not sure if you need to hit this again. I don't think you do. Let's see what's so get these three guys and you'll need one of them for this lever. Come through. That guy will drop down and help. Getting them to follow you is the hardest part sometimes. There he comes. There we got three more. I believe that would be about nine. 
correct, we can now go over here. Not really sure on the number of gnomes you need, but I'm pretty sure that side is completed over there. You want to go up this ladder? float bottles in here. I thought there was. I I just didn't think about it. So that's not gonna be in this in this playthrough. I didn't even think about those. So it's just how to get through it pretty much. Not a hundred percent walkthrough but so at this point I think this creepy guy comes back in. last time doing this. You'll want to go to about right here. It's going to look like he's going to get you. But as soon as he reaches, go. And I may still get caught, but I'll give it a shot. This part ticked me off last time. Come come to this room. Cause it was a glitch. Now when you get this guy, this gnome down. I mean button's not working. Now all of a sudden I can't jump on the table. It's not one thing, it's the other. I have a lot of problems in this part for no no re real reasons like stupid shit like this there we go so get him to fall down give him a little hug and hopefully it doesn't happen to me this time Otherwise, I'm going to have to resume from the checkpoint. But I'll throw him up on this ladder. And he should pull it down, so it worked that time. Come up here. And you will jump across this cart. Turn this wheel so you hear it latch. that and you can bring it all the way up Come down to these uh, boxes back here and 
slowly come down this ladder because oh wait let me see what's in this window real fast okay this is a room you don't have to come to this room but if you get up there and hit that button it's kind of like the story mode where you see uh, different parts of different rooms little cut scenes but I'm gonna skip that okay, luckily I didn't die so now that you have your cart here You'll push your cart to the door. Sometimes the hardest part of this game is getting the damn controls to work. I guess it's more of a patience puzzle game and I'm not that type of person all the time. So you bring it over here to this door. Come up through this little window. Drop down. And I believe, yeah, you're going to need a gnome for that. And this. So you'll drop down here and get the first one. He'll want to run away from you, give you a hard time. So we got him. Throw him up to this lever. Get enough uh, leverage from that conveyor belt to uh, jump all the way across. Come up to this crate. Pull this lever. He's gonna fall down into here. Chase him around. That was weird. I think that was just glitched out too. Okay, at this point we have these two guys. Bring them into here. You'll need one of them. Throw them on this lever. Now we should have all three. And you need all of them to help you push this cart. He would stop grabbing them and all right so they should start helping you they're helping me a lot faster than they were last time Stop right here. Come up this. Climb up this dresser. Shelf or whatever you want to call it. Through this window. I did not mean to do that, but down something I'm missing something I'm missing over here you got the door open for him push this baby through Get 
get all three of these guys to come stand on here for you. There's always the straggler. Come on, buddy. There. up here before I fell off this ladder and died so don't do that this was the part at the beginning that you didn't have to really worry about until now go up this chair and I believe we should have enough gnomes to uh, get the main elevator working get to the elevator. So there we go. It should start shaking and rumbling. Everything goes right. So you'll want to run over here. Hop on the next. Next one. It's not completely over yet. Really, if I didn't get killed about four or five times, but ten times by that stretchy arms guy, I would have probably had a quicker video on it. But I'll turn here, follow this little gnome. opening in the, in the wall. Now, you're going to want to try to move this. You can't. And then little gnome will pop his head out back there. Get him to come out. He'll have his buddies come. Try to pull it again. They'll see you need help. Then they'll get it for you. Crawl through here. Now they have a nice little cozy home or something. Go to this box on the side. And that's the end of a. Uh, Chapter 2 for the DLC. I think this was called The Hideaway. And if you remember the story, now that you're this kind of little second guy, you're on top of the elevator that you saw when you were playing at 6. You saw the uh, little evil lady go into the elevator. Now you're on top of it. So the next DLC chapter should be the ending. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you for DLC 3.